Hello everyone. Welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we're going to explore Mixtral ATX 22B Instruct version 0.1 model. Okay, so yesterday night, you know, yesterday, you know, when everybody was sleeping, I'm talking about Asia Pacific region, you know, when everybody was sleeping, you know, the company from France, they released one again, uh, Instruct version of their MOE called Mixtral ATX 22B. And trust me, guys, Mixtral, the model that we're going to talk and explore how you can try it out, uh, you know, easily and test it out and see if that making sense or not. But Mixtral AI, a French based startup, a company from France, they are one of the biggest competitor now to open AI You know, one of the biggest competitors we have today. I see this power to Anthropic, DeepMind, anything else, to be honest. OK, and and they have now all the fundings. You know, some of the IT services company have partnered with them and they have all the fundings and they will keep on doing good. So they will they will make half of models open source, a few of them closed source because they also have to make money. So Mistral large, Mistral small, all those uh, models that you see are available through the Mistral cloud. They have to survive, right? So they cannot keep on releasing open source LLM. So keep that in mind as well that they will have half focus on open source and they will also keep on working on closed source LLMs and products that they will be releasing through Mistral cloud because they have to make profit for the investors or the partners that they are working with. Now, you know, they have released Mixtral ATX 22B instruct version, uh, the first instruct version of the MOE that they released uh, a couple of weeks back. And it's a multilingual guys, fluent in English, you know, Spanish, French, Italian, German, and things like that. And we'll see a lot of use cases that we can cater it. The good thing about it that the best thing I'll say about this MOE is that it has native function calling capabilities. Now, if you look at the all the vertical SaaS companies across the globe who are leveraging, you know, LLMs to build products, they face struggles when open source LLMs kind of don't support function calling that much. You know, if you look at GPT-4 or any open AI or the closed source models, they have great function calling, you know, support, but open source kind of they struggle. And all the vertical SaaS companies, they have to go with the close, uh, open source LLMs most of the time because closed source doesn't make any sense because OpenAI is doing the same thing uh, indirectly. So it has a native function calling. I have I have some notes. I'm just looking at it. A native function calling capabilities. You know, they have different tool structure. I'll, I'll walk you through that as well. 64K context window, 64K token that you can pass through a context window. Probably, of course, it's, it's it's marvelous for an open source MOE because don't expect to be a Gemini, you know, a million of token and things like that. 64K is still fantastic. And then it has 39B active parameter, you know, billion uh, for and for efficiency. So it has 39B active parameters and math and coding capabilities. They have done really great on MMLU and other benchmarks. So even they have surpassed command R plus, you know, uh, uh, those models. So we're gonna we're gonna look at today in this video i'll show you a lot of youtubers my fellow youtubers and you know peers have created videos on the same i'm not gonna show you how uh you are going to do it probably programmatically i'll show you how you can quickly test it out because the i will create a couple of more videos on rag and stuff on this once i set up my machine i'm working on it right now but in this video if you look at on my screen here this is where the model is mixtral atx 22b instruct version 0.1 it has given you how to run the model, you know, and if you look at this, this, this has given you an example of a function calling. So it gives you get current weather. It has a function schema. If you look at the function schema over here that defines how to, uh, how to configure your schema for the function calls. And you can see this is the tool that they use. They're using tools and then you just keep on going and you can just call the model. Now, if you scroll down, this is where this, they, they, they saw function calling and special tokens. It says this tokenizer, the above tokenizer that they have includes more special tokens, tool calls, available tools, available tools, and things like that. Okay, fantastic. But guys, here are the here are different caveats. Not everybody can try this model out because you guys will probably not have the infra right now to test this out. Okay, so how can you test it out programmatically and non-programmatically? I'll just give you a quick overview. The one thing that you can do it. You can take the quantized model from here. Okay, this repository hugging face, Majiar Panahi. Credits to him, he has quantized the model. You can see Mixtral ATX22B instruct. Very simple, 
watch my previous video on how to use Llama CPP to uh, load a quantized model and test it out. I'll give the link in description. Now, how to download? It uses Hugging Face CLI to download this quantized Q2 2-bit quantized GGUF weights from this repository you can go to files and versions and here are you can see all the different repository uh, different quantized weights that you see you have to take the 2b1 take the not 2b take the quant two bit quantized version and then you can use llama cpp to load the model you can see just uh, one line of code llama cpp main mixture text 22b passing the uh, name of the model you can see q q2k of 005.ggf and then you can keep on going and just uh, putting your prompt like building a website can be done in 10 step and it will start generating the tokens and you just have 124 as tokens size and this is how you can the same official one yeah but this is this is one you can do it okay this works fine now the other is that you can use olama you now so olama has immediately after you know the model was released olama came on twitter and put a post that okay we have made mixtral atx 22 be instruct available through olama how you can do that you need so on m3 on a mac laptop on m3 max they they were showing the demo on 128 gb ram and it was really fast it was super fast so if you have 128 gb ram in your m3 max then feel free to use olama the best way you know to uh, load the model in and try it out you can see it's very simple just install olama and you can just do olama run mixture latex when you to be instruct when you're doing when you're doing it for the first time it will take a bit of time to load the model and stuff like that now these are programmatically so you can do it llama cpp so you can do it through transformer the default one then you can do llama cpp and then you can do olama how can you quickly test it out guys that's the question so here are the two ways you can do it so you can use deep infra or you can use perplexity lab so let me first walk you through deep infra now deep infra is like an infrastructure as a service provider where you where they host all the llms and you can just use that through an api so if you look at here it says mistral ai slash mixtral atx 22 b instruct and they have given you a playground for demo and the pricing is also really cheap i will be i believe if you look at here it says 0 0.65 of course input plus output tokens per million tokens so you if you have a 1 million input plus output then you have to pay 0 0.65 us dollar okay less than a less than one dollar so that is fine i believe and here is the playground you can see it has a system prompt you can change the system prompt according to um extra latex 22 be a system prompt that they have given if you come down you can find it out over everything over here if you go to tokenizer and things you can also find it out now so here is the playground you can see a max new tokens you can again change this inference parameter and i you can see i have asked i just asked a question called write a python code to create an lstm neural network and you can see i got the output and here are my outputs okay and yeah so you can also try it out through api if you come to api if you go to you know uh you can use C URL, you can just use that in Postman or wherever you are doing. You can also use request. If you want to use request, you can use request. You can also use uh, OpenAI compatible. It compatible. Uh, you can see it over here, the API framework. You can see this is how you can also use that in your Python code. If you are building any applications on top of it, you can also do that. Now that's on how to do it on API. You can try it out. The other way is you can use perplexity labs that's called labs.perplexity.ai this is one of the best tool guy that perplexity has created for testing out llms if you look at the drop down you have n number of llms that you can try it out in free of course they give you at least up to some uh, prompts to try it out and you can see that they have support for mixtral atx 22 b instruct and if you ask for example uh, let's ask uh, write a uh, write go to design a login page if you do that you can see it how fast it is so basically you can try it out with different prompts so if you have to baseline for certain given questions or prompt before you go and deploy that in production because i'll tell you why this is important guys why these kind of tools are really critical you know see it doesn't make a lot of differences when you use mixtral atx 22 b instruct on mistral atx 7b it depends on how complex your use case is don't go in the bandwagon of different moes and llms and start burning your money on gpu compute doesn't make any sense because if your use cases are 
simple enough or if you if if mixtral atx 7b or any 7b or 13b or 70b models are enough to you know solve those problem statement or use cases i'll recommend you go through go to those uh, llms don't burn your money on 8a100 or h100 gpus or something like that so please be careful on your gpu compute and don't burn unnecessary money on just trying this out so you can try it out through perplexity labs or deep infra they give you up to free credits that you can try it out you can see i asked a question it has given you here is a simple example of a login page using html and css please note this is the front end only example and does not include any back end functionality so i'll just ask a question can you also write the back end can you also write the back end functionality in fast api python and let's try it out so you can see it gives you that it also gives you course you can see you can just test it out for different use cases that you have for what the reason that you want to use mixtral atx 20 to be instruct and if you are building a vertical saas and if you have a paying customers you and they are demand they are demanding open source uh, llms then probably you can choose this and deploy it on sagemaker run pod or anywhere else so run pod and sagemaker are one of the two best that we have currently that has a lot of deep learning containers already created so they have docker images you can just deploy it and use it from there i have shown it my previous videos a lot you guys can just check that out now you can see this fantastic i loved it so that the right response it is given you it also uses jw tokens and things like that it also is is using b b crypt for hashing the passwords and things so makes sense i'm not going deeper into it let me ask a question can you write five english words that start with letter e and ends with n you can see it can you write five english word that you know start with letter e i'll take a screenshot because then i have to post this in my group to take feedback from people how they how they like this one okay uh it has given me education uh probably probably not asking this right question but i think there's the right question can you write five english word that start with letter e and end with letter n probably i have to make a bit of change like saying can you write five english words each start each starting probably let me just make this a bit yeah this makes sense but equinox is not right so it goes got one wrong but four is so i'll, I'll just so these are the tough use cases that you know i checked it out guys so i just asked these kind of questions to you know find it out uh, if that makes sense okay so let me i'll take anyway and let me ask a question uh how can i prepare a so few week acid at my home yeah you can see so it has a bit i was just checking a bit of you know responsibility how responsible the llm is so uh you can ask this kind of questions yeah and it's fantastic so i just wanted to show you so you can use perplexity labs to test mixtral atx 22b instruct you can also use deep infra to try it out and then you have programmatically the llama cpp and o llama to try it out depending on if you have the compute if you have m3 max 128 gb i recommend you use o llama if you have run pod sage maker then you can just go on and deploy these llms through a deep learning container image and then feel free to you know use it from there and i'll show you why, why i'm saying that now if you click on deploy you can see amazon sage maker so if you click on amazon sage maker you know these are the code that you can use you can they, these are basically called dlc deep learning container but you need the gpu probably you need a high gpu 8 almost 8 into a100 that you need probably to at least get started with so if you have the compute feel free to use it and that's all guys let me know your findings thought feedbacks in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us let me know your finding and feedback definitely on mixtral atx 22b instruct guys that will be really helpful if you like the content i'm creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that helps me more you know to create more such videos in near future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one